find things that I is supposed to use every every time I go fight. It started slowly, says Laura Zarate of Belton. She'd go to her local store to buy groceries, and the store wouldn't have something she'd need. Now, something has grown into some things, making her shopping list lighter as those items move to her can't-get list. When I walk on the shelves, I see they don't have a lot of things anymore that we used to buy. Uh, they're kind of empty sometimes. And Does it worry you? Yes, it does worry me. It should worry all of us. In a global economy that lives or dies by its dependence on consumer spending, transportation becomes a vital link in getting products to consumers through something called the supply chain. What is that? A network of transportation taking goods from factories and trucks and ships and the last few decades airplanes from where they're made in other countries eventually to warehouses and stores and eventually us. And what's the weak link here? The breakdown is in the supply chain in general. A warning to everyone, this supply chain didn't just have weak links. It looked like a roving gang with bolt cutters tore into it. Take Christmas for instance. Those decorations that didn't show up in August could be the only thing we get, say some. It was probably uh, realistically about a month ago. When most of December's merchandise should have been here. But that supply chain, that network, now has holes in it big enough to drive a truck through. And the empty store shelves prove it. So what are stores doing about the supply chain problem? Well, frankly, everything they can and everything they can think of. Because if they ain't selling, they ain't making no money. Stores blame the shipping companies. Shipping companies blame the overseas companies. Who blame the shipping companies? And it goes round and round and round and round until it just becomes background noise. In the end, leaving Laura Zarate and the rest of us. Every time I go f uh, buy, you know, like. So every day items are missing. There are. Not just specialty stuff. Correct. Paying more for much less to buy. People started noticing it when ships mysteriously started dropping anchor off the coast of California. L.A., famous for its freeway traffic, had developed a more serious traffic problem at its port. It's freeway for ships, a backup caused by only so many parking spots and so many employees to unload all this. And what is all this? Everything. <laughs> Everything, Everything you can imagine. Toilet paper, uh, your shirts, um, your shoes. Your Peloton uh, bike. Your bikes, <laughs> right? Computers. Air conditioners. Everything air everybody's air waiting for. The world shutdown brought to us by COVID is the cause, but experts say we added to the problem by believing stories shipping companies spun of how their super efficient delivery system meant you didn't need inventory, a stockpile of stuff. Uh, you also, uh, we've had a lot of shortages of truck drivers and the high utilization of our supply chains since the COVID-19 pandemic started. Um, and so when you put all that together, plus the shift of consumer spending from uh, more services, more towards goods, which has created more demand. So it's kind of like a perfect storm, really. It sounds like everything that could go wrong did go wrong in all at the same time. Right? <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. All it took to bring this mighty billion dollar network moving trillions of supplies is that a net had holes. Authorities at the Port of Los Angeles and Long Beach say they know they've got their work cut out for them. We're only weeks away from Black Friday. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. But experts say there's only so much efficiency we can get out of ourselves. People moving stuff around to other people until another Einstein can figure out how to slow time down, things take as long as they take. And our failure to plan on it, that's our fault. Which again, does nothing to help Laura Zarate and the rest of us deal with those empty store shelves and our emptier wallets. How long do you think we're gonna have to deal with this? How long? Mm, I don't have idea because it's getting like words. The plight of stores sets up a possible fight for survival. Big stores against the little guy. Deep pockets versus adaptability. We'll explain that tonight at 6. Dennis Turner, 25 News.